call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rockin' in the world. Booty, 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 rockin' in the world. What's up YouTube, it's Desi and I'm back with another video y'all. So in this video I'm going to be doing a part 1 and a part 2. I'll be doing a part 2 tomorrow, but as far as for this video I'm going to talk about the top 10 best um, medical assistant specialties to work for as far as for either you're choosing your externship or as far as for your future job and whatnot. Um, I'm only going to talk about 5 today and then I'll do the other 5 on the next video so we can kind of like keep it short. But um, hoping this video could pretty much help you out and give you an idea as far as for what you're planning on choosing. Um, I know as far as for externship, most of the time they usually place you where you would like to be at. They may ask your opinion as far as for where you would like to be, but however, um, it is kind of good to kind of have in mind as far as for what you want to know. So as I go along with these um, specialties, I'll be able to tell you as far as for my experience, whether I had experience with it yet, or if I'm interested into it or not too much interested into it. So y'all stay tuned as far as for the video. Also, YouTube, for all upcoming medical assistants or nurses and whatnot, I'm hoping that your whole semester goes good. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm hoping that your whole semester goes good as far as for schooling. Um, I love my experience as far as for Fortis College. Um, I wouldn't regret it for one moment. Still to this day, I still talk to a couple of my colleagues that I went to um, college with as far as for that. But um, yeah, I'm just hoping that you, you know, pretty much continue to do good in schooling. Don't forget to aim good for president's list and also dean's list. I was able to show you guys as far as for when I was able to get that. And um, I did videos before if I was trying to talk about the differences between the two, if you're unsure. But uh, yeah, let's get right into this video, y'all. First things first, I feel like it's going to be one of the best fields to kind of work into as far as for medical assistant would be OBGYN. Um, as you guys may know, I know a lot of females may either like this um, field because, you know, either what, you know, dealing with pregnant patients and whatnot or however would just you know the overall look of um being with OBGYN is very good OBGYN stands for optrystics gynecologist if I pronounce that wrong please um correct me I do have like a tongue twister sometimes with that O word sometimes but I'm just fine with saying OBGYN so OBGYN pretty much includes um so optrystics includes the study of uh, pre pregnancy labor um, delivery and this field is often combined with gynecology. Gynecology is the branch of medicine that is co concerned with diseases of a female genital tract. A physician who practices both is referred to as an OBGYN. Um, with OBGYN, I did have my experience with OBGYN, OBGYN when I had worked um, at UF as far as for my externship. Um, I love the experience I had got, but however, the way how everything turned out, it wasn't really like something that I was looking forward towards. But um, like I said, it was definitely a learning process, nothing that I'm willing to look back on uh, to regretting on. Um, you know what I'm saying? That was definitely my chance to kind of get the one-on-one -on -one experience with doing pap smears, um, also working with the... Um, doctor learning a lot more on the surgical inter, inter I can't even talk today uh, working with the surgical instruments and also like learning more as far as for um, certain procedures that you would need as far as for um, when dealing with females like with depo injections or anything like that dealing with glucose tests those type of things so OBGYN definitely gives a thumbs up so number two will be plastic surgeon Believe it or not, plastic surgeon is also a specialty when it comes to medical assistant. Like I said, it varies all across the board. Um, I actually have a book to support this, by the way. If you guys have the book that says Introduction into Medical Professions, you guys will be able to see the different specialties. That's where I got my book from when I attended medical assistant school at Fortis College. So with plastic surgeons, they perform the reconstruction, correction, or improvement of body structures. Um, you get plenty of experience as far as for surgical experience and I definitely would want to be in this field because at first if you guys may know I wanted to go to school either like further in my education either for surgical tech or um, LPN or RN as far as for nursing I'm more so leaning towards LPN because I'm more so a clinical person I'm not really too much about the administrative work but as far as for surgical tech I really found the um, interest as far as for that because the instruments like I love the instruments I love being able to perform you know even being able to like set up the scene as far as for before surgery or just passing the instruments I used to watch videos and stuff like that and I just like got so immune to it so if that was a field that I could kind of get jump into as far as for medical assistant I definitely would if somebody picked me up with it but uh, I'm gonna stick with pain management right about now but um I definitely think that's a good field to kind of look into So 
So number three, we got pediatrics, pediatrics, aka peds. If you ever hear somebody say peds, they're talking about pediatrics. Um, so what pediatric is um, concerned with the development and care of children from birth all the way to 18 years old. Um, one thing I can say about this field is nothing I too much want to get into. I wouldn't mind getting the experience, but I do want to get into the field because one, it's easily to get sick. You're dealing with kids, you know what I'm saying? And that's always a um, field to kind of easily get sick in. Um, but being a medical assistant, you know, you're in a medical field regardless. So, you know, you can get sick, period. But I feel like when you're around more kids, more often than adults, that's a more way to get more sick. Um, also, pediatricians can diagnose and treat childhood diseases and keep children healthy. So that's always a good spot as far as for that. Um, just making sure that your children is always good as far as for their shots and their, um, you know, uh, anything as far as with their checkups and stuff like that um, with the externship site that I went to it was UF here downtown in Jacksonville and the building had three departments in there so it was UF health but it had OBGYN pediatrics and family practice I basically had my experience with pediatric I mean with um, OBGYN and family practice so I didn't get a chance with pediatric but like I said I went my experience but that's not something I would probably want to work into but however they do have cool scrubs like with pediatrics you can wear like color scrubs like meaning as in characterized scrubs like you can wear disney scrubs you can wear like looney tube scrubs um any scrubs with characters on it the field that i'm in we pretty much stick to like solid colors so that's one thing to think about if you're like one of those people that don't like to be so plain you want to stand out so pediatric is the way to go all right and number four we have family practice Family practice are MDs or DOs, which is doctors, who treat all types of illness and ages of patients. So they don't specialize in a particular branch. With family practice, you're getting all types of patients, like literally all types of patients. Um, arranging on appointments for specialists, and like I say, with family practice, I was able to get this experience. It was okay, but the thing I didn't like about family practice, you're dealing with a lot more high-risk patients. Um, I know that when I was working at UF, um, that was actually my first time actually dealing with like a patient that actually had HIV that was positive for HIV So, you know when I first seen that I was kind of like particular about I didn't kind of want to draw blood or anything You know, I was just real particular about it and honestly with it being um, What is it standard precautions you want to treat everybody as if they have a disease But when seeing stuff like that, I'm just like dang you get all types of patients You never know who you're gonna try to get so family practice is a good experience, but that's not something that I would want to do so But not least with number five, we got pain management, y'all. That's which one I am working with as of right now as a medical assistant. Uh, with pain management, you pretty much refer patients for pain. Uh, for pain, we get plenty of patients that come from different doctors from all around um, the U.S. You know, we get do um, doctors that probably came all the way from Maryland, and then they'll bring the patient, refer them all the way to the one that's here in Florida. It all depends. Um, you know, they come here and they get a referral to pretty much get seen as far as for the pain management doctor. Um, I feel like it's a chilled environment. I would say this is something I'll pick because at the end of the day, it's like something I'm so used to. Um, you de mainly deal with elderly patients. You deal with um, elderly patients for the most part. Uh, it'll be a couple of young people there for the most part, but it's rare. It's not really like major. It's rare. Um, also, it, you get plenty, plenty of knowledge with drugs and medications as far as from pain management. Like I'm talking from gabapentin to tizanidine to um, psychobenzaprine. We got... Uh, Roboxin, we got um, Percocet, we got Butrin, Buprenorphine, we got um, what else is some other ones like it's a lot that I've been learning a lot with like these medications, even blood pressure medication and lodipine, like it's a lot, a lot of them I try, even if they look like they're not something I'm too much so a fond of, I'll look it up when I get a chance just to learn a little bit more about it so with pain management, I definitely think that's good I help assist with injections um, I do a vlog on this every day so if you guys want to know more information about pain management watch my previous videos, trust me you'll learn a lot, and um, you do minor things like help out with surgeries, injections like I said, you learn a lot with a doctor depending on where you at, but I work side by side with a doctor so I love that experience um, in the meantime, these are the top five so far. I will be doing another five um, tomorrow to show you guys a part two on that. So I'm hoping this will be able to help you out as far as for picking out your specialty for um, your externship. And good luck on anybody that's coming up on our externship or internship for as far as for medical assistant. Y'all have a good one and bye from your favorite medical assistant, Desi. Peace, y'all. Peace. <laughs>